once the Supreme Court decision was done to set me three, I thought, like, well, okay, we're all safe and legal now. We can have control over our own bodies. The last thing before we go on this very late night, knowing Roe. Norma McCorvey, better known as Jane Roe, is a complicated person in our nation's divided history. When Norma was just 16 years old, she was already married and pregnant, divorced by the time the baby arrived. She gave up custody to her mother. A few years later, Norma was pregnant again. She gave that child up for adoption. Then in 1969, when she became pregnant for a third time, Norma was dealing with addiction and living in poverty, and she wanted an abortion. NBC's Ron Mott tells us her story. Her quest began not as a movement for women's rights, but more simply, an unmarried 22-year-old looking to end her third pregnancy in Texas, where the procedure was illegal unless the woman's life was in danger. Despite her ultimate victory in the case, she had her baby, the legal process pushing well beyond nine months. The landmark ruling eventually propelled McCorvey out of the shadows of her pseudonym and into the spotlight of perhaps the country's most divisive social issue. For a time, she became the face of pro-abortion rights, but later, in the mid-90s, she announced that she had become a born-again Christian and in an about face became an anti-abortion advocate, appearing in ads. I realized that my case, which legalized abortion on demand, was the biggest mistake of my life. It was not until 2017, just before her death, when Norma McCorvey finally came forward with what she called a deathbed confession. She said she was never really against abortion. She was just paid to say that she was. A reminder, a stark reminder of the very complex and very personal story of Roe. A story that launched the bitter debate, one that tonight is clearly far from over.